Greetings, programs, and welcome to the Geek News Now Roundup, where geeks that are fans like you bring all the latest fan fuel content from around this great multiverse of ours. My name's David Furr, and thank you for joining me on this edition of the Roundup. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and like below so that you don't miss out on any of the latest Geek News Now. Today's Geek News Now Roundup has been brought to you by RippedApparel.com. Use the promo code GNN10 for 10% off all your geeky clothing. Pokemon, a brilliant shine on early leak issues. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl was released on November the 19th for the Nintendo Switch. However, an earlier release of the game has spurred some minor issues with the gameplay. As a result, either some events seemed buggy or some areas did not load correctly. Here at GNN, we will be discussing the game's early release and how to take caution while playing. The article will contain spoilers as some players are still unable to play the game until the official release date. So the article's author, Nathaniel Cruz, will refrain from using any images related to specific spoilers to deter killing your hype for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. If you want to catch them all, head over to geeknewsnow.net. Star Wars, the High Republic game rumors are swirling. Various sources are reporting on rumors about the next big Star Wars reveal set in the High Republic era. Being developed by Quantic Dream, we reported that there were rumors of the Quantic Dream, the game studio behind games such as Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, and Detroit Become Human, was developing a Star Wars game back in September. And now it looks like there may be some more weight to those alleged rumors. As reported by the tech site WCCF Tech, Notable gamer journalist Jeff Grubb mentioned on his podcast that the game that Quantic is working on is set in the High Republic era and that it is working to be like Eclipse. Geeknewsnow.net is where you will find Andrew Roscoe's full report. On behalf of all of us here at Geek News Now, I'm David Furr saying thank you for joining us on this edition of the Geek News Now Roundup. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and like below for all of your fan-fueled content. And we'll see you next time. Same geek time, same geek channel.